All right, another uh, episode of From the Coach's Desk. Just got done doing a very challenging work capacity. I think it took me and Jordan each roughly an hour, 10, 12 minutes to finish it. Um, throughout that window, we saw, uh, we didn't tell anyone they had to stay and finish, but I think of 25 athletes, I think three stayed and finished it of the 25. We didn't say anything. We just kept working. We were just curious to see who was day. Yep. So that kind of ties into this idea of mental toughness. And you, you hear a lot about it right now. Um, there are certain companies that basically their whole shtick is like the mind is everything. And that's total bullshit. Your body has limitations, okay? Um, but that's a, a very pervasive idea right now. It's very common in military selections. It's very common in endurance races. And it gets tossed around a lot. And the, the key idea is that it gets tossed around a lot in reference to what we would say is physical discomfort, which is kind of different, but part of being mentally tough. Jake, why don't you start us off with defining what, what mental toughness is? Well, I think um, mental toughness, like generally speaking, um, would be the ability to continue on and succeed regardless of the situation, circumstances, or environment. It's simply to persist, to continue mm -hmm. pushing through to accomplish your goal. That can be through a hard workout. Um, it can be through failures uh, professionally. Um, it can be uh, emotional. I mean, it could be something like uh, you lost a loved one, like how resilient you are to continue through with your day-to-day -day activities. So mental toughness isn't just about being able to grind in the gym or grind on the track or on the bike. It's, it's pretty wide in its definition. And I, I kind of Googled it and looked it up before we started talking about it. And they had some pretty general definitions that were similar to what we yep. just mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, I think the big thing in regards to the gym environment is physical discomfort. Yeah. Yeah, and we kind of want to stay in our lane, I think, with uh, talking about the physical stuff. Um, one thing that, that I really um, had to, to learn about mental toughness is that it's very mode specific. Mm -hmm. um, if you, and, and really the more specific high level athlete you are, of course, the, the more you have gained those small margins, those one, two, three percent gains in your fitness and so you and you've probably done that by improving your mental fitness and your biomechanical efficiency like those two things like have, have gone hand in hand but then if we were to take you out of that mode that you're really specifically good at and put you into another mode let's say a marathon athlete who now we throw into the middle of um, a, a work capacity effort like we just did like a 65 minute like grind they're probably gonna struggle with that because mm -hmm. it's a completely different mode. They're changing levels a lot. They're changing pace a lot. They're having to work against resistance other than just like the road. Um, and so there's a lot of elements that are gonna cause their heart rate maybe to change. And even though they're more aerobically uh, conditioned than anybody else in the gym, they're probably gonna struggle to finish in that top quarter or so. Um, and th they're probably going to experience some sort of mental break that, of course, their, their overall training mental toughness is going to allow them to overcome, but they're going to struggle with it. And the idea is simply that they're going to be very fine-tuned for mental toughness whenever it comes to the run training that they've been doing because they're a high-level marathoner, and that is always going to be challenged and challenged to a much greater degree whenever you put them into an, another mode, another aspect of training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a perfect example um, would be like bringing a fighter into Atomic, right? We have lots yeah. of jiu-jitsu, lots of combative athletes that come. Yeah. If you were to spar with them, whether it's stand-up kickboxing or in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, like they're total animals. And you put them like in a basic gym environment, basic work capacity, and they really, really struggle. The fitness is not always transferable. Also, they've just spent so much time in the other modality, yep. they're more relaxed, they're more efficient. Like that's kind of like they're in their lane when they're doing that activity. Uh, a great example is we both used to work with a lot of uh, mountain athletes in the Jackson Hole area. And in the mountains, they were untouchable. But in the gym, they were like, ah, they were like, like so, so athletes, you know? I mean, yep. you'd have everyday athletes come in and just crush them, but in the mountains, it's a whole different animal. And so that mental toughness is, as he's saying, it's dependent on the activity. Now, in terms of training mental toughness, there's two things. Number one, right off the bat, I think that the best way to train mental toughness is to break your motivation to reveal your discipline. Okay, that's number one. Number two, uh, any, we, we use the, the word toughness like purposefully. It's, it's not an accidental term that, that we're using. 
Toughness, think of toughness like, like a, an attribute of a material, like the attribute of a metal, right? How tough it is, how, how resilient is it before it breaks, the metal physically breaks. Toughness is, is a measurable quantity um, in, in composite materials and alloys, so on and so forth. Well, it's also something that's very hard to change, and typically it's, it's determined at the time that you forge that, that alloy. If you were to try and, and change like the, the toughness of a metal, you would have to introduce another metal, you'd have to go back to there, you'd have to break it down to its component metals and add in another one in order to increase its toughness. Of course, then you're also giving up some, some other things, but you get the idea. If you want to increase the toughness of a metal, you have to melt it down and then you have to add a new ingredient and then you have to forge it again. So it's a long, hard process to build. A much longer and much harder process than building physical toughness or physical fitness. All the while, the more physically fit you are, the more mentally tough you're going to be able to be. Okay, so mental fitness always raises the ceiling of what your mental toughness is, is able to be. And that's why as in the case of the fighter or in the case of the marathon runner, the higher level they become, of course, the more mentally tough they become in that mode, all right? Now, in terms of the application of training mental toughness in the gym, as I said before, you, you have to break your motivation in order to reveal your discipline. Now that doesn't mean that every time you step into the gym, you are breaking yourself and you are just like slamming your head against the wall, making and doing the hardest efforts that you can do every single time, just trying to see what you, you can withstand. That's actually the opposite of that. That's a lazy way to try and build mental toughness. Um, what you're doing is in due time, under the right conditions, you are doing efforts that are hard enough that you are no longer motivated to do them and you want to quit flat out. You're like, I know that I can physically do this. I know that I have 15 more minutes of work to do. I just straight up don't want to do it. That is breaking your motivation and that reveals your discipline. If you, if you can stay in it and finish it, well, you are going to come out of there more mentally tough. The uh, motivation has a lot to do with it too. For example, you can take someone who is very mentally tough in the gym. Maybe they're very mentally tough even in the mountains. Yeah. Um, and then you could take them on an adventure or a hunt or some type of expedition. And if the motivation is not there to complete it, they may physically be able to handle discomfort. But mentally, they might just check out. They might not be bought yep. into the idea of what you're trying to accomplish. And this happens all the time when you take someone who's super motivated to go do something and you have some other guys who are just kind of motivated and then you get like one or two days in and the other guys are like, fuck this. I I'm like not into this. I don't want to do this. I mean, it's happened to me before on hunts where like mentally I just wasn't there. Um, we've taken people into the back country plenty of times now and, and you just see them get to a point where they just kind of like break. They're just like, nah, F this, I'm done. So. I think to kind of wrap up this idea of, of mental toughness is that A, understand that mental toughness is a widespread attribute. It doesn't just apply to the gym. The part that does apply to the gym would be that ability to withstand discomfort, physical discomfort. Yes. Now, but you also think about physical discomfort can be cold, wet, shivering, lack of sleep, right? There could be a lot of aspects in that. Yeah, you see in the military or you see in the backcountry or like on a loan if you've seen that show. Um, it's mode specific. Right? Yeah. It's not going to be universal, okay? Um, and I think oftentimes, uh, something I, I use the term grit. Like, yeah. like a military is a great example of like, hey, like you don't really need the physical specimen, you need someone with grit, right? Because military selections, you know, obviously there's a physical component, but everyone's going to be pushed beyond their limit. Yes. Everyone's going to find their breaking point, right? And yes. if the guys who have the grit and that kind of mental toughness, they're gonna be able to just continue to push through. They're not gonna make excuses. They're not gonna whine. They're not gonna complain. They're gonna suffer in silence, right? Which is yes. one of our t-shirts. Yep. Uh, and they're gonna continue on and work on succeeding. And they understand that mental toughness is trainable. It is something that you can change. It's malleable, but it takes patience. That's really a quality yep. of mental toughness and it takes time, but it is trainable.